Time for your PFF position rankings. It's your safety edition, all powered by PFF Edge and Elite, where you can find your draft guide and a full breakdown on all these guys with information you can't find anywhere else. Mike, of all the positions, this is the one where I think if you look at 32 NFL teams, the board's going to be completely different. Scheme fit, usage, all the most important thing when you're projecting safeties. Yeah, even putting some of these guys under the same header is doing them a disservice. They're not going to play the same position whatsoever. They're going to play vastly different roles. I think that's just the nature of the safety position in the NFL today. A guy like Nasir Adderley will not be playing the same position that Monty Hooker is, will not be asked to do the same things. One might be asked to do the slot, one might be asked to be 30 yards off the ball patrolling the middle of the field. Those aren't the same roles. You need two different guys for that role, usually in the NFL. Right, so let's discuss where we think these guys fit best. Starting with these top two, we have two guys with first round caliber grades making the cutoff right here. Nasir Adderley from Delaware, Darnell Savage from Maryland. They were tough to separate even when we put our draft board together. They're right next to each other. Both have excellent free safety and ball skills. That's the thing. We love our single high safeties, guys that can impact sideline to sideline from that middle of the field, shut down the seams. We think that's where the safety position, that's where it has the most value. Both these guys have incredible range. Adderley got the nod because of his ball skills. Former cornerback had some ridiculous interceptions on tape, some one-handers. We love him making, you know, being a high interception guy, whereas Savage, we love him coming up from that role, making plays, making hits over the middle of the field. Even if he's in a robber role where he's an underneath guy, the ability to, for him to from a standstill, get up to full speed and make a play on the football with second and on this. Yeah, his ability to close on the ball, his acceleration through the catch point, absolutely incredible. He'll miss a bunch of tackles, but I was willing to ignore those, man. Yeah. With all of the plays that he can make at the catch point, I love Darnell Savage. Uh, the next group, you know, as far as second round players, maybe we're looking about right here. Mm -hmm. Deontay Thompson, fringe third round for us. We got some questions there. But again, you mentioned different positions. Taylor Rapp is a completely different position than these other guys, yes. but he is your standard. He's going to make the plays. You play in the box, strong safety, maybe cover the slot a little bit, but he's the quicker guy compared to these other guys that have better straight line speed. Yeah, you want him within about eight yards of the line of scrimmage from slot to slot in that range, and he can be a playmaker there as a blitzer, as a run defender in coverage. That's where he's going to make his money. Not great straight line speed, not great deep speed, but so quick on those underneath routes, such a good feel for the game that we feel comfortable about him being a productive NFL player in that role. I think versatility is the name of the game for these next three. Yes. Amani Hooker, you've seen him play in the slot at Iowa. You've seen him play in a split safety role. Mm -hmm. I think that would be a great fit for him at the next level. A quarter safety that has to maybe match up with receivers. Most of these guys can't handle that, but Hooker's shown yeah. that he can. Yeah, and he also has the size where even if you want something like a dime backer, he could fill that role. If you want a guy to even make that transition, he is a prime candidate from safety to linebacker. I think he has those sort of skills to play in the box. Zone feel is absolutely yeah. spectacular. Great eyes. Chauncey Gardner-Johnson, we've seen him play Same in the slot way. at Florida. Same thing, right? Played some free safety. He's got some spectacular mm -hmm. split safety type of interceptions and pass breakups on film as well. And then Juan Thornhill really broke out after they moved him from cornerback to safety. Interesting, though, because he's got great size, and a lot of those teams that love the covet the big cornerbacks mm -hmm. might put him back at cornerback at the next level. Yeah, he might end up going in the, you know, those cover three teams might end up going back to cornerback, but it's because at times he did look like a cornerback trying to play safety with his angles on the back end, but what he can do up and covering the slot in terms of man coverage, I think is very valuable at the safety position today. That's what's coveted and a freak athlete in his own right. I love his free safety skills graded really well. When playing in the free safety role and, that role. and then Deontay Thompson, one of the toughest prospects to break down. He didn't run a 40 because he looked slow. He looked really slow on film, but when he saw a play, the, you know, the, yes. the quickness with his ability to just diagnose and get to the spot, that was as good as anybody in the class. It really was. But yeah. he's running. But he had four nine tight ends running away from him at times. That's that scary. was the concerning thing. Go to the national championship game. He he takes one misstep on a slant route, and all of a sudden he's getting separated from and ran away from. Gets run away from by a tight end in Georgia uh, in the SEC championship game. The speed is a legitimate concern, but. Like you said, the instincts for the position, there's no better in this class, but you still got to have some athleticism to play at the NFL You level. do, but if you're talking about a pure single high free safety, he probably has mm -hmm. the instincts to do it and, and, and have some range because he just knows where to get to. I've said he could be a four to five interception a year guy, but you're just going to have to live with some ugly on tape as well. Reminds me a little bit of Jarris Bird. If you just keep mm -hmm. him in the right role, he could be a playmaker, also has a ton of missed tackles. 
when he had to come up into the flat. Beyond that, we're talking about more day, late day two, day three type of players for us. Marquise Blair, hashtag fun to watch guy, yeah. flies all over the place making plays on the back end. Yeah, almost too reckless. Under 200 pounds, but sacrifices his body seemingly play after play after play. You worry about his long-term health with his size. Maybe he needs <laughs> to put on 10 to 15 more pounds to play the way he does. But yeah, he plays with a reckless abandon. That is, like you said, hashtag fun to watch. Reckless is the word. <laughs> okay, the other name we have to mention, he's getting first round hype right here, Jonathan Abram. We have him at number 11. I've done a full breakdown here on the YouTube channel showing why he reminds us a little bit of Keanu Neal, because they're very similar in that they're, they're box safeties. They are the true strong safety. If he's in that role, maybe he moves up a little bit, but I think his all around skill set, just not the same as some of these other guys. In the yeah, box. much more a box and not vers versatile box. He's not gonna go cover the slot. He's not gonna do right. a bunch of different things. He's almost just plugged into, you know, one of those interior roles as your strong safety, and that's about it. And it's an underneath zone defender. That's where he is, is a run hit guy, fantastic in that, but just limited. And that's why we're dropping him down on our board. He's got to go to one of those very specific cover three type teams, play that Keanu O'Neill yeah. role that is a little simplistic, but he's got the skill set for it because he's very athletic and does fly to the football in the run game and pass game. So there you have it. It's our top 15 safeties. We could be all over the place with these guys. It's all about fit mm -hmm. at the next level. For the full breakdown on all of them, PFF Edge or PFF Elite, get your PFF draft guide.